the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers uh, title of the video transversal and let us see how we can use uh, the concept of transversal with the parallel lines right so first we have to form parallel lines so how do we do this i have taken a long rectangle so that means the line on top and the line at the bottom are parallel so these two lines will not meet now let us uh, use a magnetic strip right so we have a, a line on top and then we have a line at the bottom of this uh, rectangle so these are parallel lines so let us call these two lines as one and two so these two lines are parallel lines now let us have a transversal going through this lines one and two so line three now using the lines which are not parallel we defined the different types of uh, the angles so now we get uh, four angles formed by two lines taken at a time so we take the transversal three and line one we have four angles a b c and d now we take the transversal three and the line 2 and we get uh, four angles E, F, G and H. So now we know that uh, the corresponding angles are B, F and the next set of corresponding angles are C and G. And the third set of corresponding angles are A and E. The fourth set of corresponding angles are D and H. When the two lines are not parallel, the corresponding angles are not equal. Whether these lines are parallel or not, the vertically opposite angles are equal. Whereas, in the case of these two lines not being parallel, the corresponding angles are not equal. When they are parallel, the corresponding angles are equal. Now we can measure that. Take a sheet and then measure that angle. So we are measuring the angle B. Right. Now what happens? B and F are the corresponding angles. So what we find here? Angle B equals angle F because they are corresponding angles. Now we know that the vertically opposite angles are also equal. So what happens now here B and F are equal because they are corresponding angles they are coming on the right of the transversal. The other property is that whether they are parallel or not the vertically opposite angles are equal so the d should be equal to b now d and h are corresponding angles so the d is equal to h2 and h and f are vertically opposite angles so what happens you know b equals f which is equal to D, which is equal to angle H, right? This is uh, one property. All the corresponding angles are equal when the two lines are parallel, when the transversal is cutting through the lines. Now, similarly, let us see how angles A and E, which are the corresponding angles, uh, will become the same as angles C and uh, G, which are also corresponding angles, by virtue of A 
and C being the vertically opposite angles. So let us take uh, the paper strip and we are measuring the angle A. Now you take that angle and place it on E. So you will notice that angle A equals angle E. Right. And uh, again what happens you know the angle A and angle C are vertically opposite angles. So we already reiterated you know whether the lines are parallel or not uh, uh, in the case of two lines intersecting each other the vertically opposite angles are equal. So you can notice that A is equal to C. So what happens you know that is equal to G also. Right. So angle A equals angle E equals angle C which is equivalent to angle G. So again one more property we have to find out. Now here let us take uh, angle F. Now this is angle F. Now you can notice that angle F uh, is also becoming the alternate interior angle of D. So in the case of the parallel lines in addition to the corresponding angles becoming equal now you get the property as the alternate interior angles are also equal and similarly for example you take the exterior angle A what is the alternate exterior angle to the angle A alternate exterior angle A B G and H because they are exterior they are beyond the lines they are not in between the lines now you can notice that A is equal to G also so that means you know the alternate interior angles are equal the alternate exterior angles are equal the corresponding ag angles are equal so when the lines are parallel you are satisfying lot of properties that uh, hold good uh, in the case of uh, a transversal going through two parallel lines. Uh, let us see the other properties of uh, the transversal in the final video on this topic. Mm -hmm.